Hey everyone, it's Tim. I uh, thought I'd make a video about how to make a how-to video. And so if you're watching this, it's for our Jazz Lab course on video and audio editing. But of course, if you'd like, you can learn a little bit how to do a shake. And that's uh, something since I was a kid in middle and high school big band, uh, I always loved the sound when a brass section did a shake. And so uh, from an early age, I really wanted to learn how to do that. So I'm about to show you how to do it. One of the techniques that I've used to really build up my ability to shake is the lip trill. And you can insert this into your daily warm up. It takes almost no time at all. You add about two, three minutes uh, of these lip trills, and over a month or two, you're gonna see you're gonna have an ability to shake much, much better. So, uh, in this quick tutorial, let me just give you a sense of how to do this. So, lip trills start with slurs. So, slurs are like a three note slur, a four note slur. That goes like this. <laughs> And you can go up the range uh, through the partials. Um, and on and on and on it goes. So a lip trill exercise generally focuses on shifting between two partials. So the exercise I'm going to give you is one where we shift be uh, between the concert B flat partial and the D partial. You'll use a metronome to give you a steady beat and we're going to go ahead and play quarter notes followed by quarter note triplets, followed by eighth notes, followed by eighth note triplets. And then we're gonna do this going all the way down the length of, as a trombone player, go down the length of your slide, trumpet player, um, go down chromatically. Sound good? All right, here goes. One, two, ready. and on and on it goes. You can do it on different partials. You can do it faster. And so eventually, you're going to translate that into playing a big band shake, which is really just starting with a controlled lip trill and then letting it kind of expand and get out of control. So that's what this is what that sounds like. Things to keep in mind. You'll notice that I try to keep my embouchure as set as possible. It's not really helpful for us to let it shift and move all around. Um, so consistency is the key. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult as we go lower in uh, the range of the instrument or down partials. Anyway, this is just a quick thing to add to your playing, and here's a little trombone shout chorus that I wrote with some shakes in it. So I hope you enjoy, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and for all my video and audio editing folks, I'm really excited to see the videos that you put together.